Okay guys, Sandra at Third Coast RC in Houston. Today we're getting out this uh, R5 truck. This is a fifth scale truck the Red Cat did a few about a year ago now and um, it was kind of a fleeting truck. It came and it went. Um, it was recalled um, because of lots of little issues from the factory. But we still have one and right now we've got one. We can see the front wheel here is uh, we've been running it quite a bit but this front wheel is locked up and we don't know why it's either locked up here in the diff or it's locked up here in the wheel so just undone the wheel nut let's take this uh, get this fat tire off here there it goes it's the tire off and then we're gonna have to figure out use that as a prop have to figure out how we um, Okay, it looks like there's a screw in there holding this pin. So, I'm just trying to see where it's locked up. So, what I need to do is I need to get this pin out here to remove this axle. I need to remove this pin. Inside the center of here is a little set screw holding that pin in place. So, I need a two and a half millimeter. Go right down the middle here, find it. Loosen it off there. It's loose now, and then that little pin should just push out like that. So the pin's out. Put that here, and the axle comes off. So that's the axle off. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to remove this here to allow us to free this and get this CVD out, and then we can see which side is locked up and what's going on here so we're going to undo this okay so I'm going to undo this I'm holding on to the under this screw holding on to the nut with these vice grips and I should free this top arm almost there there goes the nut got that Yeah, long thread. We're almost there now. Very long, fine threads on these. There it goes. So that's free. And I'm also going to undo this one here just to give us a little bit more freedom. Don't need to hold the knot on the bottom of this one because it fits into the bottom of the arm. It's like keyed to fit into the bottom of the uh, hub carrier. So there is a knot in there, but. Just keep my finger underneath here just to make sure it don't fall out, we don't want to lose it. And that's free now as well. So now we can see that the lock up is not the diff's free, the lock up's in here somewhere. So we're locked up in here somewhere, and I think I can see what the problem is. If you look inside here, I'll point see this little this is like that and then on this side see there's a little pin, a little pin has moved over here and is um, stopping this from turning so it's not a major issue but what I'm going to have to do is remove this um, C carrier so I'm going to have to undo this top and bottom screw here so I'm going to do that now so I'm pulling out this top one be very careful that you don't lose this little collar that's in here this little uh, collar here, I'm going to put that down there and then there's another one on the bottom we can undo and again there'll be that collar in there we need to just be careful that we don't lose the collar there's the collar I'll put that down here and now we can remove this piece entirely and we can start to figure out how we're going to fix this. So you can see what's happened here if you look real close this pin has moved and it's actually wedged you can actually see the end of it is stuck in this hole here where the screw goes so we might just be able to push that back and uh, let's separate this from the carrier so yeah you can, you can kind of see that So 
inside here let me have a see what we got here okay so we got this CVD disassembled now what you can see is this pin that goes through the middle of it has this little flat spot on it and this piece here has a little screw in the end of it that holds it holds it in place and it can go in this side or it can go in this side it don't matter it was in this side yeah and it's not thread locked from the factory and this is part of the problem that this truck had and then it came and all the parts were not thread locked so I'm very carefully gonna start to put this back together so this this goes through here like that and then the pin let's turn this a little bit you see there's the hole in there this pin goes in there but we've got to get the flat spot facing where we're going to put the little screw in so that's going to go in you see the flat spot inside there now the flat spots inside there but we've got to kind of do all this whilst it's all together in the CVD so I'm going to take this back out we're going to put this in there like so so it's lined up then we've got to put the stupid pin through what we're going to do now and it's all fiddly mess about try and get it all lined up which it didn't line up so we're going to do it again put this in here line it up put the stupid pin through there it goes the pin's gone through now and we're just going to frame to bend it but what we're going to do is we've got to get the pin so that the stupid pin the flat spot is going to be here or here the flat spot's right there I can see it so here's a little set screw I'm going to use a little bit of thread lock so that the stupid little thing doesn't come undone again I'm going to put that in turn it up so it sits against that flat spot there it goes tighten that sucker up not super super tight that you strip the head of the and that is all good and rotating now so when we put this stupid thing back in here jiggle and wiggle to get to go back in here past the bearings now we got an axle that actually turns when it should alright we're going to put it back together so um, come back in a couple of minutes so we got it all back together Everything turns free again. This was the wheel that was locked up because that stupid screw had come loose and let that little rod come, that little pin come free. So the truck's ready now. We're going to drive it now and we're going to, we're going to post that video tomorrow. So come back tomorrow on our YouTube channel, uh, Third Coast RC, and uh, we'll have the video of us running this um, fifth scale R5 truck. Thank you.